Hi everyone, welcome to WW Designs. My name is Nikki and this is where I share all my love for paper crafting. So in my last video, I showed you how we made this delightful hinged flip pocket. That is the first piece I have to make for a swap that I'm in that runs all year and I have to make another one. So we're, in this swap, we have to do two things. So number one is done and number two is a belly band with hidden journaling spots. So because this piece of paper has to be tri-folded, making this belly band with a thinner paper rather than a thick cardstock is ideal because otherwise it's going to be incredibly bulky. So I had this piece of music paper. It had a really tattered edge, so I simply tore it off. I've made it a little bit shorter than the full A5 because I'm going to add some lace to the bottom. But obviously you need to cut it to the size that will suit whichever journal you're making it for. So all you need is a relatively sort of square. It doesn't have to be actually probably more rectangular. If it's too square, your pockets might be a bit short. And then you simply fold over and fold under. So what you've created is your the base of your belly band with one pocket here and another pocket there. <clears throat> I have, of course, inked my edges Unlike last time where I almost forgot to do all of that, I've already done that to make it quicker and easier to watch. Now, what you would then normally do is just run a thin little bit of glue along here and exactly the same on the inside here so that you create your two pockets. I'm not going to bother gluing because I have found some pretty pink lace in my stash and I am going to sew those on. So that will then, um, of course, close my pockets off. And I try and avoid glue if I'm going to sew because you end up with gunky stuff on your needle. So I'll go and sew these down and then we'll get back to decorate it. Right, lace is down. And now it's time to put some deco on the front. What I'm going to do here is just slide a little bit of baking paper on here, just in case any of the glue wants to try and seep through. And the reason being, because the first thing I want to put down is I found this in my scrap collection. Now, this is actually this one of the sheets from the same papers that I created this with that I stamped some lettering on and then put a bit of um, oh, mental blank distress ink and then some gold around the edge. Now, for some reason, I never used this scrap, but I thought it would be perfect. It then sort of ties the two together but not really. So because this is a little bit thicker, I don't just want to use glue stick. I think we need to use something a little bit more heavy duty. We're grabbing my tiger glue and we are going to cover this nicely and pop it down. Oops, better make sure we get it the right way round. Not that it really matters because those words are not real words. So let's pop that down first. I thought that was sort of a perfect little piece to use. Um, great idea when you're bored, grab some little scraps, do some stamping, do some edging, and then just put them away. So when you're doing a project and you want some layering pieces, you already have some left to go. I found a few of these, um, and I think that's another thing I must do one day is make some more. So the next piece I want to add is this. This is also cardstock, but not really thick. So we might as well use some good glue to put it down as well. And we might just have this little flower hanging over the edge just a tiny bit because I like things hanging over edges. And then the next thing I found in my stash was this little 
this it's it's a it's a leaf pattern and it's actually been printed on vellum i didn't print this i just found it in my stash and i thought that would do <clears throat> very nicely now i just need some tweezers for this one okay over we go and we'll just pop that down there actually maybe a bit further over might work there we go and the final piece I want to add to this is this gorgeous butterfly where are we going to put it yes maybe sort of up there again slightly hanging over the edge and this has two folds in it so what I'm going to do I'm not going to bother to actually glue down the wings they can sort of be a bit flappy aroundy if that's not really a word, but we're going to pretend it is. Voila. And I think we will leave our deco at that for now. So just, no, it doesn't look as though any glue's got through, but I'll just leave that there for a few minutes to dry. Baking paper is really easy to remove if it gets a bit gluey. And I find that a safe way to do things because with thinner paper, I don't want, of course, my pocket to stick together. So I'm just going to put this aside. Now we need to make some journaling cards. So again, I have went, I went through my stash and I found these two papers. I think I received these as part of a Christmas swap. I got sent the most amazing things and I thought they would be perfect for this. So the first thing we're going to do because I've used music paper to make the belly band, I think we need to keep that theme going and I will pop those on there. So now let's just grab, we'll just use normal glue for this because they're just thin music sheets. This way we're just keeping things coherent. I have inked the edges as well. And I thought we might do one sort of over on one side and then one on the other side. There we go. Now, the next thing I have little bit of layering happening here um this is another piece that i was gifted in a swap and it was cut from white card stock so oh look at this tiny little bit i've missed here uh -huh. hang on a minute let's see okay hang on we need to we need to fix that actually no you know what we probably don't need to because I'll show you in a minute why. What we'll do is we'll put it right... No, we might put it in the middle. So what I did, I just grabbed some... Actually, no, hang on, this is annoying me. Why don't we just put a tiny little bit of... Because what I did, I just... You, oh, that's a bit much there. So seeing we've wet some of this again, let's just add a bit more so that doesn't look quite so odd. But what I did, I used um, Victorian Velvet to stress ink. And then I also just um, spritzed it with a little bit of coffee just to make sure it didn't look too white. So what we're going to do is cut this in half now and we'll put half on each. So we'll just try and eyeball this right down the middle. There we go. And then I think we might use... Uh, tiger glue for this one we just blob a little bit on in around the edges right so to save you some time I have cut out all the gluing blobbing bit because I'm pretty sure you don't need to see how to dab glue onto the back of something so it just saves a bit of time for you. So we have our two bases. Now, the next thing is just a little bit of something floral, I think, to add to these. So I've fussy cut these bits out of a sheet that I had. And I was thinking we might add 
this pretty pink flower here with this leaf behind it. Or should we put it right down there? Hmm. And then this one here, I was thinking like this. Hmm, how's that looking? I quite like that. Okay. Hmm. In you go. Actually, you know what? Maybe we might reverse this. Maybe we might put this up here. Because I don't know if I like that word there. So we might sort of cover that, I think. That works better. Then maybe we'll swap these round and put it more down the bottom. Mm, I think I like that better. So let's get gluing. Touch. Perfect. Well, let's get those down. Right, there we go. Perfect. I'm happy with that. I think I will leave them like that. I think that is enough. And so now, of course, we have our completed. What I did when I tried to put them in the pockets, I realized they were a fraction too long. I didn't leave, I, I obviously, the allowance I left for the sewing was not enough. So I've had to trim the edges and re-ink them, but that's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this one and pop it into our back pocket now that it fits. Now, you can leave it sticking out a bit, but I have made these narrow enough that they can completely disappear. Completely up to you. And then the other one goes in here. If we just keep our thread out though. Voila. So there you go. There is a cute little belly band. There is two hidden journaling spots. And that is a very pretty way to decorate a junk journal. And it's easy to do using up your scraps. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comments box below. I would have really appreciate it if you could give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye for now.